Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right. I uh, heard the word in the street is that uh, Ryan Garcia, well, the facts are Ryan Garcia left Eddie Renoso. So uh, let's talk about that, man. Check out the box news playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And he joined uh, Joe Gutzen, okay? Uh, yeah, they got to be on the Fox uh, commentating. And I think he trained, uh, didn't he train uh I think he was training Diego Corrales at the time, and he got the knockout, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, so, uh, I think he was training Castillo. I could be wrong. I think he was he was in one of those corners, but uh, um, so uh, he said that uh. He do more. He he do more. Uh, he does more. He does more um, promos and stuff than he do actually fight. You know, I know. I still question his fan base translating to boxing, but um, and that's just I'm not sure. But apparently, he has some value to Golden Boy because they don't have nothing left. They don't promote the brothers. You look at the top of their roster, Virgil in a tough division, you know what I'm saying? Um, and they don't really believe in protecting their fighters unless it's like Ryan. They, they don't even believe in re really protecting Ryan. It's kind of a mixed bag in a lot of these fights. But uh, trying to see with Ryan Garcia, the news about him. Uh, I'll leave it, Eddie Renasso. But I mean, obviously, Canelo gave some harsh criticism. This generation, here we go. This generation don't like harsh criticism. And you always feel some type of way when somebody talk to you raw. You know, um, you know, it's always you had those talks, you know, with you know, I think a lot of times they come from male figures that you had those uh tough talks with about uh about life stuff. You could be on the wrong trajectory. And uh, you need to be getting on the right trajectory. And sometimes them tough talks, man, them, them be the ones that, that you be needing. A lot of these kids don't get that no more because the coaches got to cope. They got to they gotta be uh, nice and all that type of stuff. But it says, I'm excited to announce that I will now be working with Hall of Famer trainer Joe Goosen. In addition, with my father, uh, Henry Garcia, his father does train. He was training Sanchez at one point, Frank Sanchez. Joe Goosen, legendary career, spent several decades working with championship fighters. I worked with Joe when I was growing up, and the two of us have maintained a great relationship over the years. Can't wait to pick back up where we left off and to continue this journey together. I'll know. I'll now be working out of my own gym, Fierce King in San Diego, and my goal remains the same, to become a world champion. I would like to thank Eddie Renasso for everything Eddie has been in my corner since 2018 and i've learned a lot from him both inside and outside the ring we built an incredible friendship that i always cherish on behalf of my whole team i wish eddie uh continued success in his amazing career now one thing to take out people gonna point to the canelo comments and you know and i think that's just big brother stuff but today that could have that could have been a major factor in it or eddie renato got a lot of fighters remember when Vern ortiz was supposed to go over there and it didn't happen. <laughs> you know, he with Manny Robles. You know what I'm saying? So, I think Andy Renasso is just too jam-packed. You know, and now he's dealing with – he. not only is he training, he's like a real manager for Canelo. So, I mean, he hashing out deals. You know what I'm saying? Some, everybody had their limitations, bro. That's a fact. Every Everybody has their limitations, bro. No matter how hard you work. How much you in the office or whatever the situation may be, everybody has their limitation. That's just a fact. And when you stretch yourself out too much, bro, everybody talk about, man, F sleep. You know what I'm saying? I can sleep when I die. That's the dumbest quote I ever heard. I always say this. Sleep is where your body repairs itself. You know what I'm saying? That too much work can end to an early death. That's what people don't understand how to balance work and life. And then they want to have a nightlife. You know, I see you see 40 year old people, mid 30, 40, 50 year old people still trying to live that life. Like, bruh, 
you're going to work 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week. Then a little time you do got off, you're going to go drinking at the club. Sound dumb to me. But, you know, you know, I think he got too much, too many uh work, you know, workers. And then you got Valdez. Not sure if he been in the gym. Uh, maybe that's a correlation to him not being in the gym with Eddie that he, you know, ain't signed a contract. He got uh Canelo, Andrew Weege, Frank Sanchez still on the team. I mean, that's one dude. That's one dude. Eddie, Eddie, Freddie Rose stretched himself out too thin, too. So that might just be that might just be the team right there. Whoever he goes, so Eddie. So Eddie's just Canelo, Virgil, not Canelo, Virgil, Canelo, Oscar, uh, Frank Sanchez, and Ruiz. That just might be the team right there. That might be exactly what he need. But Ryan Garcia, I don't know if he got mad at the comments by Canelo. Um, I don't think it, that 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 would have factored. I think that would have been you would have learned this long ago uh, if it was the comments. I, Maybe they didn't have enough room, you know. Maybe you know, uh, I, I can't put my finger on it, honestly. But you know, like I said before, man. Uh, you know, Ryan said he has an, uh, a relationship with uh, with Joe Goosen, so there's a report there, and um, and that's good. It's a reporter, so that's it's pretty good. I mean, you know, we could sit here and say we fired Eddie Renasso, he did this, he did that, but why? Do you feel like he wasn't getting at the end of the day? You wasn't you wasn't fighting, so it couldn't have been something inside the ring. Had to be something outside outside the ring. In my opinion, it had to be something outside the ring. Had to be. Had to be something that somebody said. Or whatever the situation may have been, but you know, quite frankly, that's on them. That's on them, bro. I mean, Ryan Garcia don't want to be a fighter. If you don't want it, they said no boxing, no life over there. He probably said, if you don't want to fight, man, don't come in this, don't come in here, bro. If you ain't serious about winning the world, and he not. And I also heard that he don't want to be working with uh he don't want to work with Golden Boy fighters no more. That's what I heard. He don't want to work with Golden Boy fighters no more. So, I mean, maybe, you know, the whole situation with Golden Boy, if he out here hashing out, if he out here hashing out the deals, I wouldn't want to work with Golden Boy no more with the, the nasty split and the animosity that been there. So that was probably the part of it, too. You know, probably probably tired of tired, probably tired of Ryan Garcia BSing around too. Boy ain't fought in over a year. You on my roster. I can't make no money off of you. I can't develop you. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. I can't do nothing with you. I can't develop you. I can't make money off of you. I had Canelo send a message through me. You still ain't fought. Nobody got time for Ryan Garcia, man. He's an Instagram model. He's an influencer. I wish I could get to his level as, as, as being an influencer. I wish I could be like Ryan and have all the, the, the money Ryan got, bro. All the little, you know, he got DraftKings sponsorship, all types of stuff, bro. And once again, we talked about Eddie Renasso possibly stretching himself thin. Um, also, you got a situation where, you know, Ryan Garcia stretching himself thin. When you this young, you supposed to be perfecting your craft. When you this young, you need to be perfecting your craft. And that's the honest truth. You should be perfecting your craft. All the other stuff, the commercials, then, you know, good to see you have brand deals. But that shouldn't come before your craft. He should be hungry looking to win world titles, bro. That man should be hungry looking to win world titles. Looking to kill everything that move in, in boxing. 
looking to kill everything that move in boxing. That's what what type. That's what type of time he should be on. Honestly, honestly, he should be a, a mean fighting machine. You know, that's that's what he should be on, bro. He should be out here killing everything that's moving. His focus shouldn't be nothing else but being the world champion, accomplishing his goals in boxing. That should be his goal. But it ain't. And when you got opportunities to make more money outside of boxing, and it's easier money outside of boxing, and you got the talent to market and and, 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 and to do these, you know, little commercials and, and talk and model and stuff of that nature. Shit, I'd rather model than uh I'd rather model than take a punch to the face any day. He don't need the box. You know, and he, he in that middle, that middle area where he probably loved the sport, but he also loved the easy money being a brand ambassador. You know, so he probably in the middle. He got some kids, so he probably need money from both. But if you ain't all in in boxing, that well, how old is the as, as the boy? Twenty three years old. If he ain't all in in boxing at twenty three, bro, you gonna get hurt. You gonna get hurt, bro. So somebody needs his father needs to sit down with him and say, "Look here, man, we need to be living a boxing lifestyle." And it's a lot of technical stuff that Eddie Renato didn't have enough time. Eighteen, nineteen, he had him eighteen, nineteen, right? He fought top of twenty twenty one. He, I mean, you can't even count twenty twenty one. Eighteen, nineteen, and in the last two years, he ain't really been there. So how can he clean? You can't clean up bad habits. You can't clean up not tucking his chin. And he ain't even been in the gym. He be in, you know, modeling. He be doing, you know, infomercials and all that stuff. He one foot in the game, one foot out the game. You can't improve nobody like that. So you can't really judge can Eddie Renato take a young fighter clean this stuff up because a young fighter didn't want to be in the gym. Remember his parents wouldn't remember his parents will let him spar hard, bro. So you fighting the parents, right? The parents don't want him to spar hard, right? He don't want to box. He want to model, be a hand model and a DraftKings brand ambassador and the underwear brand ambassador. He want to do TikToks and stuff of that nature. So, I mean, how, how can I improve somebody who don't want to be a boxer, who poses? He's a poser. And for Joe, with, with the move with Joe Goosen, you know, like I said before, Joe Goosen just going to be like Eddie, Freddie Roach. He just going to go with the flow. He going he to gonna, do what he's asked to be done. He gonna work with Ryan Father. He gonna collect the check. That's what Joe Goosen gonna do. Joe Goosen, they gonna let a, a guy who ain't never won the world championship. He gonna be running his own camp. I remember Miguel Cotto fired his uncle. That's the worst thing he did for his career. When he fired his uncle, he started running his own camp, and he packed y'all beat him up. You know what I'm saying? A fighter cannot run his own camp. It's a reason why you have a coach tra slash trainer. It's a reason why you got a second in command. It's a reason why you get strength and conditioning coach, or it could be all in one. And Ryan Garcia, 23 year old, three three years old, running his own camp, he's going to get hurt. Joe Goosen, you know, I'm pretty sure he's firm, he's stern, and all that, right? But I think Ryan is going to be running his own camp. He's going to get hurt. That's what's going to happen. You know, when you're like a, a teenage kid who don't want to listen to the rules at the house and he go stay somewhere else, he ain't going to listen to them house rules neither. Somebody, you know, Eddie Renato tried to stand firm with him. Canelo's tried to stand firm with him. He don't like authority. He don't like structure, it sound like. And maybe it could be some other thing, but that's what it sound like. He going to run over to Joe Goose, and then when he get hurt knocked out, he going to be blaming Joe Goosen. Either you all in the boxing when you're 23, are you all out? Earl Spitz, Terrence Crawford, Deontay Wilder, um, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Josh Taylor, a new UA. You know, it's understandable for them to have one almost one foot out, one foot in the box. And they they done something. They won belts, they made a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? They won something. 
They sit, they sleep in the silk seats based off their labor they put in boxing. Ryan Garcia sleeping on silk seats based on some boxing labor and premature money that he getting that he didn't deserve. And then he also sleeping in silk seats because what? What do you do outside of boxing? That's predominantly where his, his income coming from, especially since you only fought once in 2020. That was January 2nd. You know, so, you know, most of his, his, his money come from his labor outside of boxing. So that's why he feel like he, he can, he can uh, sleep in silk sheets. When he go to those Canelo fights and they be packed out in energy, that, that should make him want that. That should make him want that. If he no more motivated by that, he motivated by followers and subs and all that. They need to, his parents need to sit him down. And Joe Goose needs to sit him down and say, bro, if you ain't all in, you're going to get hurt. In this game, hurt can be permanent damage. Look at Pritchard Cologne. Hurt can be death. So do you want to do this, kid? You know? And if we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. It ain't You can't turn the switch on and turn it off when you want to. But like I said, we'll see what Joe Goose can do with him. Um, a lot of things need to be cleared up. Chin flying up. He, he's a walking knockout. I'm just telling you, bro. And he's also a guy that's that's very talented and can walk. And, and get probably in a lot of you know move the right way, get a belt in his sleep. But I mean, a lot of, a few things need to be cleaned up with his technique. And once those things are cleaned up, if they can be cleaned up, I mean, um, he dangerous, you know, dangerous. Little foot, kind of some footwork drills, um, keeping his chin tucked, keeping his hands up, you know. And you know, the thing about it is he's not a good upper torso mover. He's not a you know a slick fighter. But then again, he don't have feet neither. De La Hoya had feet. You know, Ryan Garcia needs to get feet. Once Garan Garcia get feet, keep the chin tucked, get the hands up, be defensive responsible. I think he, I think he'd be a dominant fighter in the sport if he wants to be. But hey, check out the boxing news playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications, go live or drop the video. Um, check out the boxing news playlist. Want to make a financial donation? Dollar sign, Cash App, CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description will cash out dollar sign. CJ, yeah. Uh, check me out on Spotify. Uh, uploaded the new uh, podcast. You can listen to it ad free on Spotify, Goodfella TV podcast, and Goodfella TV podcast on Anchor. Uh, other than that, best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification, go live, drop a video. In boxing, it ain't you know it ain't like basketball where you can be one foot in, one foot out. Like one of your relationships with your one of your significant others. I mean, you got to be all in, or this this sport will end your life as you know it. But peace.